Welcome to another high event right here on High TV, your luxury channel. I'm here at the Golf Face Hotel today for the grand ceremonial launch of the Times School of Higher Education, where you can further your skills, education, and qualifications. My name is Dima. Stay tuned with High Events to find out more. Mr. Kenji here at the grand launch of uh, the Times School of Higher Education. Now, Mr. Kenji, you have a partnership going on with the School of uh, Times School of Higher Education as well. And what we've heard is we've got a vocational center where children, where students will be educated and be given the skill. So, students once they come and train here, what sort of opportunities can they look forward to, especially where Japan is concerned as well? Uh, well, first off, uh, congratulations. Uh, on the grand opening of the, the, the Times uh, uh, School of Higher Education, and uh, it was it was a wonderful auspicious moment uh, that I attended today, and uh, and, and Japan and the government of Japan and also the people of Japan have been involved in uh, promoting education and education cooperation here in Sri Lanka for a long time, and then I hope there will be a, a wonderful collaboration. Uh, between the Japanese institutions and organizations and the uh, uh, Times School of Higher Education in the future. And uh, uh, when it comes to education, education is the powerful, powerful tool to connect people and to bring about new innovations, technology and, and everything. And, and I think there are a lot of uh, wonderful opportunities uh, ahead of us. Uh, about the collaboration between uh, Sri Lanka and Japan and I'm looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're delighted to welcome in our midst this morning as our chief guest, the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Ranil Vikramasinghe. <laughs> We'd now like to invite our chief guest to do the honors of lighting the traditional oil lamp. At the Times School of Higher Education, our mission transcends mere traditional education. The programs at this institute are designed to meet not just the current needs of the job market, but the programs are also designed with anticipation of future trends. We are profoundly grateful for your presence and support as we embark on this exciting journey. As a special and heartful welcome to our Chief Guest, His Excellency Ranil Vikramasinghe, the President of Sri Lanka. Your state, your steadfast leadership and visionary approach to education 
reform have always inspired us. Your presence here today elevates this event and strengthens our commitment to aligning with your vision for prosperous and educated Sri Lanka. The Times School of Higher Education, a proud extension of Vijay Newspapers Limited, is a major progression of our long long standing dedication for fostering knowledge, communication and excellence. Excellence. Just as Vijay Newspapers has endured, has earned the trust of the nations through its journalistic integrity. Time School of Higher Education aims to become beacon of quality of higher education, dedicated to nurturing future ready professionals who will shape the industries for tomorrow. Welcome to the Time School of Higher Education, where knowledge, skills, and professionalism meet the challenges of a changing world. Our mission is clear to empower society with knowledge, skills, and a sense of professionalism to face the ever-changing challenges of the world. We aim for individuals to actively contribute towards creating a positive influence on society. At the Time School of Higher Education, we have three distinct arms that cater to your educational and professional needs. They are academic education, vocational education, and continuous professional development through our digital academy. Our academic programs are tailored to meet the needs of sought-after careers in the industry, offering you a solid groundwork in your chosen field to empower your success in your forthcoming professional endeavors. Our commitment to education goes beyond the traditional academic programs. We place a strong emphasis on vocational education prioritizing practical skills and real-world experience which ensures that you are well prepared for your chosen profession right from the start for those looking to enhance their skills on a flexible schedule. Our Digital Academy offers a wide range of short duration modules. These are tailored for busy professionals seeking continuous professional development. Our online platform provides you with access to high quality content allowing you to upskill and stay competitive in your field while balancing your existing commitments. So whether you are a student looking to shape your future, a professional seeking to sharpen your skills, or anyone in between, we invite you to join Time School of Higher Education. Together we can empower you to make a positive impact on society and thrive in this ever-changing world. Visit our website to explore our programs and get ready to embark on an educational journey that will transform and shape your today for a brighter tomorrow. As a Sri Lankan citizen, I'm proud to say that. As an academic community member, I'm proud to say it. Our graduates are very unmatchable, very competitive in the global arena. So when the Times University takes that input to their education strategy, you are working with the excellent people. I talked to Mr. Janak Kivan. You talk and you work with excellent people in Sri Lankan education system, and you are collaborating with well-recognized universities across the world, and you will have strong stakeholders from the industry as well. This is what the trusting factor of Times University programs in future. As a national university academia, our responsibility is to provide our excellence, insights to these type of organizations. Then, we together, we collaboratively steering Sri Lanka as one of the unmatchable, very competitive destination of brands for education. There are three things I always believe why stakeholders should trust and go with Times University in future. The number one is academic excellence, it's collaboration, no competition at all in our strategy paper. Number two, the transparency, because Education is an investment. You are investing on the human capital development. Our immediate clients would be the learning partners, but there is someone behind it, those who invest, including the parents. So we should create that transparency through our process, through our teaching excellences, particularly up-to-date evaluation criterions. All these are 
in our strategic journey in future. I have Professor Ravi Disanayake here with me, who is the academic advisor to the Times School of Higher Education. Now, Professor, let's talk about uh, the Times School of Higher Education. First of all, uh, big congratulations to setting this up, of course. And uh, let's talk about the areas of expertise that you provide for the students who enroll. Yeah, thank you very much for this invitation. And anyway, I'm very pleased to be academic advisor for this Times University, we'll say. Um, we have actually three areas of concerns. In Sri Lankan education system, we have really figured out the education need. If you looked at three main segments of academic qualification, digital qualifications, and of course, continuous development improvements, especially for the uh, corporate sector people. So these are the three main avenues we have. And uh, most important thing is why people should trust Times University is it's collaboration with state universities of Sri Lanka. I'm also representing state university system and we have very good understanding about the scholars, academics, senior faculty members of different universities for different programs and Times University will work with them very closely. Second, and this Times University is going to have already it's been done, initiations are done, uh, collaborate with internationally recognized universities in Asia and the Europe, probably in future uh, American universities as well. So we get the global recognition, we get the academic collaboration within the university system of Sri Lanka and uh, it's very futuristic. I think these three main and of course uh, our resource and the faculties we have in future. We will have fi fine faculties involved so our students, our participants will get the global exposure and then we are making nationally recognized globally ready uh, professionals and the graduates through Times University with the collaboration of state university system of Sri Lanka. So to our viewers out there who are thinking of uh, future opportunities, um, why would you tell them to come over? Now you have given a brief, um, a quite an extensive explanation of course, a little invitation. Yeah, I'll invite all the uh, stakeholders including the learning partners for the future. Please have a visit to website, contact our uh, supported staff members, make a very wise decision because education is investment. You can't do trial and errors for education. Whilst national university system and the professional bodies of Sri Lanka, they contribute immensely for education, Times University will be collaborating with them and give another uh, vacuum filling, uh, you know, offerings for Sri Lankan community, even international community, because we have an idea to get the neighboring countries as our learning partners to our university. So there you are make the right choice, be well informed, invest on education, you to become a successful citizen, not in this country, even to the globe. Welcome to Times School of Higher Education, where our values define our commitment to shaping the future. At TSHE, we prioritize excellence in teaching, research, and learning to ensure top quality education. With a student-centered approach, we place your needs at the heart of every decision. We foster a culture of innovation, encouraging creativity and the adoption of modern learning methodologies. Diversity is at our core, creating a welcoming environment for all. We uphold the highest ethical standards and emphasize the importance of giving back to our community. Equipping you with practical skills, we prepare you for success while promoting sustainability in all we do. Our flexible, 
tech-driven approach offers virtual learning that adapts to the evolving job market. Stay tuned as we bring you a 3D virtual tour of TSHE, an immersive experience into the future of education. Our classrooms are equipped with the latest technology, including interactive smart boards and advanced collaboration tools, creating a modern and engaging learning environment. Every detail has been carefully designed to meet global standards, ensuring that students have access to the best resources available. We believe that a comfortable, well-equipped space is essential for effective learning. From the technology we use to the layout of our classrooms, everything is aimed at fostering creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. At Times School of Higher Education, we are committed to providing an environment where students can grow, learn, and succeed in their academic journey. Thank you for exploring our campus with us. We look forward to seeing you soon in person. This website is going to be our digital platform and it will serve as a vital resource for students, faculty, as well as the wider public to be able to stay up to date with information on our programs and activities. Before we officially launch the website, I'd like to invite our Head of Digital Media Operations at Vijay Newspapers, Mr. Lanka Pradeep, to please come forward with a clicker. And to do the honors of officially launching the website, we're honored to have with us His Excellency to please point the clicker on the screen and launch the website for us from right where you are. Three, two, and one. Now let's go. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the brand new website of the Times School of Higher Education, that's www.timeschool.lk. great pleasure to be present here at the opening of a new institute of education, the Times School of Higher Education. It's not a school in the sense that we are all used to. I think that era is gradually over. The new technology has come in and therefore it is much easier to have higher education institutes in the country. Time School of Higher Education seeks to cater to those who wish to find employment both here and abroad, and in new subjects such as robotics as well as established subjects. <coughs> this is a much needed uh, institution in the country. 
we are weakest in a post school non university education institutes and providing this certainly uh, meets that demand the Times School of Higher Education, TSHE, is proud to partner with King Mongkut's University of Technology, North Bangkok, KMUTNB, a leading institution in Thailand recognized for its excellence in engineering, technology, and innovation. KMUTNB offers a diverse array of undergraduate and postgraduate programs that equip students with the skills and knowledge required to thrive in a dynamic global landscape. With a strong focus on practical and hands-on learning experiences, KMUTNB ensures its graduates are ready to meet the challenges of the modern workforce. I believe you all agree with me that the higher education is more than just academic learning. It is a foundation which we build the future for our societies. It equips students with the knowledge, skill, and critical thinking that necessary to contribute to the development of the nation. Times School of Higher Education, in partnership with Trainicate, a prominent learning and development leader, offers comprehensive training programs and vital career competencies such as analytics, artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing, data science, DevOps, machine learning, and more. Trainicate training and certification initiatives are meticulously crafted and curated by renowned technology giants such as Amazon AWS, Cisco, Google GCP, IBM, Microsoft, NetApp, Trend Micro, UiPath, and a multitude of other industry leaders. Trainicate, we see this beauty as a foundation for growth. The Sri Lankanization project aims to harness local talent addressing challenges like brain drain and positioning Sri Lanka as a global tech player. We aim to train 10,000 individuals in future-focused skills like data, AI, and security, empowering them to contribute to our economy. By investing in our people and preserving our culture, we're building a knowledge-based economy that supports long-term growth and prosperity. Join us on this journey. Discover the magic of Sri Lanka and support the Sri Lankanization Project, where tradition meets innovation. Learn more and get involved today. Hi everyone, this is Afula Hashim, Managing Director of Kate Kate Gulf and Kate Lanka. It gives me immense pleasure in being a part of the launch of Times School of Higher Education. In collaboration with Times School of Higher Education and Trainicate, we look forward to providing with future-proof skills by embedding the right curriculum, the professional certifications, into their curriculum itself. Unfortunately, I'm not being able to be there in person, but I wish uh, Times School of Higher Education all the very best in everything that they plan to do in terms of educating the Sri Lankans and developing, upskilling them into right positions with the right tools. So the Industry Academy of Beijing is the utmost importance today in order to provide the right skills to the industry itself. And Trainocate has been in the forefront embedding the future-proof certifications and curriculums which are aligned with the industry requirements. And this along with TSHE gives us a greater, broader and more reach towards providing the best of the educations to every part of Sri Lanka. In today's landscape, Sri Lanka requires a big fix and something that's impactful. So therefore, innovative learning solutions are not just important. With this reason, we came into a discussion with TSHE in order to bring in new ways of learning and new way of teaching. Therefore, we've actually built an assessment tool that is being done as a pre-assessment and, and then the training happens and then we do a post-assessment. In addition to that, we've also created a platform in terms of reset, reset, which means remote and user self-enablement training. So while we also have instructor-led trainings, we've also provided them with the tools to be able to self-learn as per their self-paced. And these training modules have been 
broken down into bite-sized programs where every lesson learned is a new skill that you gain. We've created uh, contents across not only tech contents but also how an end user or a user can adapt to the new changes in the tech world. So, from the world, from content such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, we've also got programs on data, AI security, and how modern work can work around with SharePoint, Power BI, and such programs. This LMS platform could also help TSHE in order to build their own content and upload it on them as well as the lecturers, teachers to have a, uh, visibility towards the progress of those individuals as well. So, TrainerKit as a Microsoft authorized training partner, we are able to provide trainings, professional certifications that will align with the industry norms and utilize this research platform as a grassroots level and help on that journey mapping as well. And under the initiative of Sri Lankanization, we look forward to working with TSHE and to provide the best possible. I wish you all all the very best and thank you very much. Internationalization in the sense that people work beyond boundaries for a variety of reasons. One of the reasons is in improvement of technology, communication, as well as if you are faced with a pandemic or something like that, it is very important for you to have international internationalization. In that case, uh, it is linked with the education. It's no exception to this. Education is also used in internationalization. When you are talking about the internationalization, it is very important to have collaboration with various organizations, universities, higher educational institutions, and research institutions. When we talk about uh, collaborations, we are now uh, focused on number of uh, aspects, particularly on legal aspects of the operation between Times School of Higher Education and our university, particularly Karishma University. Karishma University is a world-class university located in the USA, where I am the advisor to academic advice to the Asia region, and we are proposing diploma courses in law and also LLB program, master of law program and also doctoral programs. All these programs can be done in Sri Lanka now in partnership with TSHA. And one of the important thing is these programs are designed to suit the needs of countries like Sri Lanka, India, Bangladesh, Burma, Laos, Cambodia and countries like that. I have Professor Kamal Karnadasi here with me. Now, Professor, let's talk a little bit about uh, the affiliation that you have with the Times School of Higher Education. So what we did was you know, we had a very uh, long discussion with the Times School of Higher Education and uh, we agreed to offer law courses, you know, particularly a diploma in law and LLB courses, master of law and also doctoral programs in law from Karishma University and also we are going to introduce uh, supply chain management course uh, through Must University. The Must University is uh, Malaysian University of uh, Science and Technology. So when students come and enroll here, what sort of opportunities can they look forward to uh, when it comes to furthering their education along with the collaboration that you have on with the university in Malaysia? Yeah, one, one thing is that you know, if they do the uh, advanced diploma in uh, legal practice or some law courses where they can uh, directly enter into the second year of the LLB program and they will be getting uh, international certificate from the Karishma University. So that facility is there one thing. In addition to that, you know, it is lower cost in here because the certain part we are completing in here. So it will be 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 2 or entire thing they can do in here or uh, the rest of the course can be done either in Malaysia or USA. So for the students out there thinking about their future, thinking about options to move forward with their education, what would you like to tell them? Yeah, but once they complete uh, the diploma course, they can, uh, they can either migrate to countries like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, UK and countries like that. Or if they want to do the higher education, they can continue master degrees 
or they can do their they can get their promotion and things like that that is sort of a thing the practical sense that we have introduced this course for the first time entire faculty will be there at time it's a higher education institution <laughs> The Malaysian University of Science and Technology MUST is a leading institution known for its focus on innovation and practical education in various fields. MUST offers programs designed to equip students with the skills and knowledge needed for success in today's fast-evolving industries, including business management, law, and logistics. The partnership between MUST and Time School of Higher Education will offer programs such as a diploma and degree in law and enforcement and a certificate in supply chain and logistics management. This collaboration aims to provide specialized education that meets the growing demand for professionals in law, logistics, and business management. First, allow me to take you through Malaysia University of Science and Technology. This university was established in 1996 with a collaboration with MIT Boston. So we carry the culture, the system, and the structure of MIT. And that's why you see even my position in the university is called president and not the vice chancellor. Typically, Malaysia follows the uh, UK culture of calling it as vice chancellor, but here because we follow the US culture, so we call it as president. So as a heritage of MIT, so we are committed, highly committed to education excellence. No compromise on education. That's our motto. Yeah? And, uh, we are today offering one of the top tier uh, supply chain subjects that is sustainability and then followed by AI and also data analytics. So we have, I'm sure some of you, those seated here with IT background, you know IPv6, right? Internet uh, Protocol version 6. The founder of Internet uh, Protocol version 6, Professor Sureshwaran Ramadas, is our professor in the university. He is the founder for the world. Yep. Then we have another one more, Professor David Miao, who, is, who was awarded uh, 2023 as the top 2% uh, researcher in AI. He's also a professor with us. So you can see the lineup of faculty members that we have. And we are very serious about education. We are fully committed to excellence in education. And the uh, Malaysian University of Science and Technology is also a member of EQUIS from Europe and AACSB from the US. So you know these two are the crowns of business school. So we are there and we're very happy to work with you, um, Janaka, with Times uh, School of Higher Education. I have Dr. Prem Kumal Rajgopal here with me. Now, doctor, let's talk about the affiliation that you have with the Times School of Higher Education. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm very happy, um, deeply, uh, happy to note that I'm here for the launching, grand launching of Times uh, Higher Education School. Basically, I'm here um, working on academic uh, pathway for the students from Times. Uh, we are looking at, uh, uh, looking at how to collaborate with the Malaysia University of Science and Technology in Malaysia. I'm the president of the university in Malaysia. So we are looking at uh, how can we get the students here to be exposed to education excellence uh, through the collaboration work. Yeah? So it's going to be uh, maybe a three years program or it's going to be a two plus one program, something like that, yeah. So what sort of courses and what sort of opportunities can the students in Sri Lanka look forward to and what sort of um, access can they gain? All right, um, the university that I am today, uh, we are looking at uh, cutting edge uh, curriculum that are industry relevant. Um, for example, data science and AI, that's one uh, very emerging area. So we are looking at that. And the other one is we are looking at sustainable supply chain um, where I feel that it's very important and uh, as Sri Lanka has already pledged to the SDG goals yeah, uh, by 2030 I guess so. So those curriculums we are going to bring it to Times here. Yeah. And why would you suggest uh, this uh, Times School of Higher Education when compared to any other institution? Well, uh, it's always about the matter of uh, flexibility and also it's a matter of commitment. So I find that the lineup of academicians in Times uh, is really very a strong profile in academically. So I'm very comfortable, yeah, and uh, I know that they can give me the commitment because at the end of the day, it's not just about you know um, getting education across, but it's about uh, dedication and keeping to the commitment of education excellence. Uh, that I believe in Times, yeah. 
I have Professor Nihal Sinanaika here with me. Uh, now, Professor, let's talk about uh, the Time School of Higher Education. Uh, there are many vast areas where students can come enroll, enhance their qualifications, their education, and their skills. Um, what's your opinion on it? Yeah, in my opinion, that uh, Time School of Higher Education is uh, unique among other private higher educational institutions in Sri Lanka. In that case, uh, actually, uh, Times Higher Education intends to produce graduates they are readily employable. That, uh, I, as I understand that Times Higher Education uh, like to combine vocational education and academic education because finally all the graduates have to be employed meaningfully in the industry. That is the unique difference or I would say main difference in Times Higher Education, uh, science, Times School of Higher Education. Now for students out there watching, uh, thinking why would we choose um, any institution out there? Why would you recommend, why would you tell them to choose Times School of Higher Education? Yeah, that's why I mentioned before that uh, uh, the graduates passing out uh, from the Times Higher Education uh, will have opportunity uh, to be readily employed because uh, we are aiming at uh, say uh, producing uh, employment ready graduates so that they can uh, readily be employed. Other main reason is that uh, there's a flexibility. Now uh, most of the programs we intend to uh, introduce uh, can be followed in dual mode like uh, online plus uh, and face-to-face -face classes. Again, uh, I, I, as I know that Times Higher Education uh, have many collaborations internationally, Thailand, Australia, UK, then PSN BTEC, likewise uh, the Times School of Higher Education is exploring all the possibilities so that uh, we, we can produce global, uh, uh, global uh, graduates that they can be employed in any sector uh, everywhere in the world. That is the main difference. Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with our ceremony, we are now moving on to a very special segment dedicated to recognizing the valuable contributions of key individuals who have played an integral role in the development of Times School of Higher Education. Ishraq Abdin here with me now. Ishraq, first of all, congratulations on the successful collaboration here with the Times School of um, Higher Education. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the collaboration itself. Yeah, hi, thank you. So, we are very happy to partner with Times School of Higher Education because TC, I guess, yeah. So, when we talk about this partnership, we are actually excited for the uh, collaborations what we bring into the industry because at the moment when we see that there is a huge brain drain so what we want to do is from the brain drain how can we brain gain that is what we are all about so when we had the initial uh, discussion with the management of Tishi they were aligning with our vision what at the moment the industry requires because there is a huge gap between the industry and what the academia produce so we are together we want to bridge that gap with Tishi so that is our collaboration and we are very excited about it sounds fantastic now Trainicate has always been there bridging, bridging the gap so when students come to uh, this time school of higher education what exactly can they um, expect with their with your collaboration in tow so yeah uh, when we talk about the when we talk about the collaboration or what students should be getting with uh, Trinocate, when the students come and enroll with TC, we also, we, not only we are uh, giving with them the, what the academic needs, with the certifications, with Trinocate, we, we are the world's leading learning and development, human capital development company. 
we have our certifications let it be google cisco microsoft so these students they have the uh, cutting edge um, what do you call knowledge to come into the industry with industry relevant job related certifications so tc is providing that through us with our collaborations in closing i would like to thank each and every one of you for being here today your presence support and the belief in the vision of tshe make all the difference we look forward to the future filled with opportunities partnerships and continued excellence in education thank you what a fantastic launch event it has been we wish time schools of higher education all the very best until we see you again with another high event take care and be safe <laughs>